In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating a collage, but doing so by combining one template or several templates together to create a larger layout. So I had a customer ask, how would they go about creating a 30 by 20 collage, but one with more images than the collage templates that come with auto collage allow? Now this principle will work with Auto Collage, Easy Album, Pixel Creator Pro, or any of the template collections we offer. We can take individual templates, combine them together to make one larger layout. And I immediately thought to myself, you know, that's a great question, one that's never been asked, and one that I've never demonstrated before, but one that's actually very, very useful, because it's something we, a lot of people would want to know how to do all the time. So what we've done here is we've created, you can see, a, a larger 30 by 20 collage. And what we did was is we used one collage template, but we stacked it on top of one another to create one larger layout. So let's walk through this process so we have an understanding of how this works. So the first thing we're going to do is create us a new blank document. And I'm going to use auto collage for that. And a lot of people say, well, why would I use the new document tool in Auto Collage instead of the new document tool in Photoshop? The, one of the main reasons that we created this new document tool in Auto Collage was because in Photoshop, when we create a new document, it always, always, always default to pixels. And here in the United States, we typically uh, define things in inches, especially in the photography industry, you know, 8 by 10s, 16 by 20s, etc. Um, so at any rate, when we create a new document, it's always defaulted to inches, but you can choose other unit values as well. Um, but anyhow, let's do uh, uh, 20 by 30. And for the background, let's go ahead and uh, use white is fine. And then for our margin guidelines, let's go with 2.5 for the margin and for the uh, uh, we'll do a single page layout as well and when I click OK you can see we get a new uh, blank document that is a 30 by 20 by choosing the single page layout we get guidelines exactly dead center of the page vertically and horizontally and we have this nice two and a half inch margin around the perimeter and you say well why do why that two and a half inch margin around the perimeter well the reason being is when I go to frame this uh, 30 by 20 the frame itself will take up part of this margin and I just want a nice little black margin around the perimeter now I'm going to set my document color to black so I hit my uh, foreground color in Photoshop is black and so Alt Backspace or Option Delete for you Mac folks uh, will change the uh, canvas to black. Now, a couple other things to point out. Over here on the right, you see our Info Palette. Very, very useful. I refer to it all the time. Um, if you've never worked with the Info Palette, go on the Window menu, choose the Info option because this is a lifesaver over here. Um, other thing to point out is the rulers across the top and left side. To make rulers visible in Photoshop, we hit Control R, Command R for you Mac folks. And you can also go onto the View menu and choose rulers that way as well. Say, so, well, why do I need rulers? Well, this is why. Um, because I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool, and I need to define the area inside of uh, the guidelines. So I just make a selection. And by default, in Photoshop, when there are guides present, selections will snap to the guideline. And you can see the width is 15, the height 25. Very important because what we're going to do is we're going to create a collage, and we need to know what size the collage needs to be. What we're going to do is we're going to create a 10 by 20 collage, but in a document that is slightly different sized. So we know that we need our collage to be 15 inches wide, but 25 divided by 3 is 8.33. So we know it, we're going to stack three collages on top of one another. Um, so we know that our new document needs to be 15 by 8.33. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, come into uh, Auto Collage and create a new document that is 15. 
by 8.35. We're just going to round it. Something like that. We'll do no margins. We won't do a single page layout this time. And just click OK. And that just creates us a new blank document. Now let's go back over here uh, to our larger document. We were talking about rulers and so forth. Um, with your rulers visible, we can change our document unit value. So you can switch from pixels to centimeters to whatever we want. Um, so when we make our selection, right now it says 15 by 25, but if that wasn't showing us inches, but rather is showing us pixels, that's because our document value is in pixels. By making the ruler visible, it's very quick and easy by right clicking on the ruler to change the, the unit value for our document. Otherwise, we'd have to go into preferences and all that other monkey business. This way, it's much, much easier. Okay, so back over here, let's go into Bridge. We're going to select a collage template. And then you can see over in Photoshop, boom, it's being built for us, just that quick and easy. So now that template is built, we won't insert images at this point in time. I'm just going to grab my Move tool and come way outside the document here. And as I drag, watch over on our Layers palette on the left-hand side, or excuse me, the right side of the screen. Watch that Layers palette. See how the layers begin to highlight? as I cross over them. That means they're all selected. So then I'm just going to click and drag into my larger 20 by 30 document. Then we can close this out. We don't need that anymore. And I could just drag this right into place. Now I'm going to zoom in here. And the reason I'm going to hit uh, free transform, the reason being is we can snap right to the center of our guideline. And then I could just go ahead and move this up however I want to. And we'll do something like that right there. Now you could use three individual templates and drag them over in the same manner. I personally think it looks better to use one template, stack it on top of one another. So let me show you how that's done. Again, I'm in my Move tool. I just come outside my document, make a big selection around all the image openings. You can see all those layers are selected, all 15 layers here in my Layers palette. And I'm going to hold down my Alt key option key for you Mac folks I'm in my move tool I hold down my alt key and click and drag and see what happens I get an exact duplicate and then I'm gonna free transform and again I'm gonna snap that so it snaps right to the center of my guideline and then what I'm gonna do here is once I get it close I'm gonna use my arrow keys and nudge the spacing so it matches, you know, vertically as it does horizontally here. Something about like so. Okay? And then we'll do the exact same thing. All those layers are selected, the ones I copied. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and click and drag and copy them again. And again, I'm just going to use my arrow keys to get that spacing so it's visually about the same. That looks pretty good. We have a little bit of an extra gap on the bottom here, but we'll take care of that momentarily. Now I'm going to hide my guidelines by hitting Control H, Command H for you Mac folks, because I want to sh show you pinpoint one thing. Remember I said I kind of like the look, that uniform look as I go down, but what we're going to do just to spice things up is I'm going to select the image openings here in the middle, only those image openings in the middle, and I'm just going to free transform, so I hit Control T, Command T for you Mac folks, and choose Flip Horizontal. And that center one is just going to be a mirror of the one on top and bottom. So visually, it looks really nice. Um, and I, I just think it looks really good that way. Now let's go ahead and turn back on our guides, because we do have a little bit of an extra gap at the bottom, which is okay, because we'll just select all of the image openings all 45 of them hit free transform and we're just gonna zoom in nice and tight here and just pull it down a little bit you'll never notice it uh, it's just a little bit of a difference there um, but now as I look at this layout I go ahead and turn off my guides you can see nice uniform layout it looks great we've got 45 images now we can we can now populate and of course uh, in auto collage there's lots of different ways we can populate those images uh, auto collage itself is going to be the fastest way to get 45 images in the layout 
Um, so that would be the fastest way. And then the other option that we have with Auto Collage, of course, is using the Insert Photo Tool. Uh, if I have one layer selected, it will populate that one layer. Or if I come in here and select 15 layers, uh, then it will only populate those 15 images uh, by using the uh, Insert Photo Tool. But when we have 45 images to populate, probably much quicker to use Auto Collage itself to populate. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it makes sense to you. you may watch it a time or two, but this way you can uh, create a very large layout um, using smaller individual layouts to create more image openings uh, for your larger collages. Thanks for watching.